right, boys and girls, so here is what we should have from our last lesson in our converging lines op art. And today what we're going to talk about is coloring, picking our colors, and how to actually create that optical illusion where it looks like the paper is bending and creating that kind of waveform. But before we actually get into the coloring, I want to talk about how you're going to go ahead and choose your colors, and then we'll start speeding through our coloring session. Okay, so what we're looking at is a really beautiful example of a black and white converging lines op art. Now, the reason why it's working so well is because the artist is using two separate, two completely different colors. So obviously black and white, they're opposite colors on the color spectrum, and that's what's making the illusion push even further. Now, obviously I know black and white can be a little bit boring. I know it's traditional in op art, but most of you are going to want to choose a different color and that's completely fine. But let's go ahead and talk about choosing your colors very quickly. Now, I know we've talked about this word before um, and I want you to think about choosing complementary colors. And if you remember what complementary colors are, basically it is two colors that are completely opposite from each other on the color wheel. So not only are they opposite colors, but they are located on the opposite side. So they are just colors that usually don't go well together. I know we've talked about that before. Now, I know you're probably thinking, but why would we want to choose different colors that don't really look well together? The whole point of using complementary colors is so that it pushes the illusion of your op art a little bit further. So using those two opposite colors will really make your eye have to think twice about what it's seeing because it's actually confusing your mind, it's confusing the eye. So we are definitely going to be using our opposite colors today. Now you can choose whatever colors you'd like. I am choosing a blue and a green and a red and an orange and this is why I'm doing that. So now not only do we have our two sets of complementary colors, we also have a set of cold colors and a set of warm colors. So we have um, the blue and green, which are cool, the red and orange, which are hot. And then we have the blue and orange, which are complementary. And we have our green and red, which are also complementary. So we are just going all over on the opposite kind of color spectrum for this drawing. And again, you can choose the colors that you'd like. Just try to stick within the palette of complementary colors. All right, so let's get coloring. So I have my colors here, my blue and green, my orange and red, and I am just going to start coloring them throughout the piece. And Please make sure that you are pushing as lightly as possible when it comes to your coloring. Later on, we're going to be adding more value, as in we're going to be pushing a little bit harder with our crayons. So for right now, you need to be pushing really, really lightly so that you can add that value later. So what I'm doing is I'm going to start with my blue and I am going to start by the point with my blue and then I'm going to skip one. So every time you color with a color, you are going to do one, skip one, and then color another one. Because in that area that we skipped, I am going to be coloring in green. Very good, so I did two blue. So I did one blue, skipped one, did another one blue, and I skipped another one and I'm coloring in that last one blue again. So again, there's two empty white spaces. We are going to be coloring in green. And the whole point of doing this is creating that pattern. So creating that repetition throughout, almost like a checkerboard throughout the entire drawing. All right, so now I can pick up my green crayon and in those two empty spaces, I am going to color in green. And please remember, I'm going to put this in your head as much as possible. Please do not push hard. Please color as lightly as possible for right now until later when we add value. And I'm gonna say it over and over and over again. So color lightly. <laughs> Very cool, so we have our first little piece done. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up my orange crayon and I'm doing my orange first because blue and orange are complementary. 
So I am putting my orange next to my blue. And the same thing with the green. I'm going to put my red next to my green because my green and red are complementary. Again, pushing super lightly, not pushing hard, just coloring in those spaces next to the blue. And take your time. This is something that, I mean, it's easy to mess up because you are creating this pattern. There is a lot to color, so you're going to want to rush, but please take your time. You have so much time to work on this. Um, there's no point to rush. If you need to just kind of mark out where each color goes, I would definitely suggest that. But the more time that you take on this, the less likely you are to mess up. So again, just color lightly, take your time. If you need to take a break, take a break. This whole coloring part without adding the value actually took me about probably 30 to 40 minutes because it is a pretty big piece. So almost a full art class period. So again, take your time and we will jump into doing the value after we color the whole thing. So there's one more step after we color the entire piece of paper. And again, so now I have already started with my red and I'm putting my red next to my green. So anytime you're kind of confused on what color to put next, just remember you're doing the opposite. So your red and green, blue and orange, depending on what colors you're doing, just make sure that you're putting them. And if you need to have a color wheel next to you, have a color wheel pulled up on your computer or on your phone so that you can have those nearby so you know which color to put next. And from here, I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and speed through so you can see the rest of my coloring for now. Like I said, there is going to be one more part after this where we're going to talk about creating value. So from here, just make sure you're taking your time, like I said earlier, and make sure you're just pushing lightly so we can add that value and finish the entire illusion. All right, so have fun guys, and I'm just going to let this play through for the rest of the video.